Hi, Kevin Blanche here. I got up out of my hotel room and walked around here after I did my symposium last night. Talk about vile, disgusting. This is what the environmental movement, this isn't New Jersey. This isn't freaking New York City. They're actually clean. This is Oregon. This is Eugene, Oregon. The organic, these are the environmentalists. Really? Really? So I've been walking around trying to get adjust. What the hell is this? My God. Oh, it's a man-made creek. So, and I said, yeah, what is it man-made? Oh, you know, that's what we are here. Well, right here on the corner, the university, university, this is University of Oregon. There's a Christian university here. And I'm like, well, the, it's been a big debate, the Greek houses. So, uh, you know, so here we go, university. So I started talking to a, a woman who teaches over there at the university about usury. And I did a seminar last night at Harris Hall on Fukushima. And basically, I just told the truth about my leukemia and my cancer. I basically told about my leukemia and my cancer. This old woman who's an activist, come to find out, who's a big activist in this town, got up and said that I was a fearmonger. A fearmonger for telling the truth about my cancer? This is what debating societies have turned into on the left in this country. The right and the left, they're both to blame. This is pathetic, as I say, it's not the painting of the soup can, it's the idea of paint the soup can, but then you have to paint the fucking soup can. Really, right here, all this environmental activism, right here within a block. I'm going to take a little walk, and we'll keep this camera going, and I want you to show you something, okay? I want to show you something that'll blow your fucking mind. I am, wow. So there's a little ecosystem that's been developed from this thing, and I'm like, ducks and geese fly. Ecosystems are connected. We're going to go for a walk, and I want to show you this. This is in Eugene, Oregon. I call it on the corner of epic denial, passive environmental activism, passive argument. Cordial conversations are dangerous, like that woman's. So let's have more cordial conversations. Passion and telling arguments get results. This is what the left the the right yeah bully radical mentally ill nuts but here's the left 40 years of the field and this is what that's what's happened that is the giantest metaphor for an environmental movement in the country we're talking this is eugene oregon one of the capitals of the environmentalist movement in the world i want to show you something it's right here There's probably more college students here per capita than anywhere in the world. I mean, there's university, 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 university. There's so many universities right here, it's you lose count. University of Oregon's right there. But I want to show you something. Talk about user if we can get across this street. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Stay with me. Stay with me. You'll love this. Come on, light. Maybe. 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 Here we go. Stay with me. I can find this. I gotta get this. Wow. Wow. I'm blown away, really. The whole scene here is really disgusting me. As I've traveled, you know, I've traveled all over the country, in New York, whatever. The past was. The passive approach is on Balco here. It really is grotesque. Wow. You know, Fukushima ongoing for 731 days, passed in the Pacific Ocean. They're like, they're clueless. And these are environmentalists, so-called water quality people, so-called nature lovers. This is what tree huggers, have, no wonder, we talk about a reputation. Well, I'm a tree hugger, but I sure the fuck ain't soft. That's the problem. Wow. Stay with me. We're walking. Just going for my walk this morning. Wow. Got a couple blocks to go. Come on, you got time. Hang in there with me. You'll love this, Andy. This. You'll love it. Stay with me. We're following this creek is what I'm doing. Following this creek and this ecosystem right here in Eugene, Oregon. University of Oregon, the ducks. Elaine College, 
that's one college. These are these so-called Greek houses that they're blaming this. It's a man-made creek, I guess, from what I found out, talking to a professor over at the Christian College here. Yeah, that's a good metaphor, isn't it, that freaking squawking crow? They blame it on these guys, and I said, I don't care who you blame it on. You know, it's man-made. I said, what is it man-made? Nuclear's man-made. Dams are man-made. Coal's man-made. It's all man-made. I mean, come on. That's what environmentalism is trying to live in symphony with your environment, as people did for years. Now it's just pass the buck, pass the blame, let's have another fucking debate. Let's eat an organic tomato, have a latte, hold hands, and fucking meditate naked and try to levitate the fucking White House. Like I said, you watch my seminar, right, and that old lady gets up the end, and I really wanted to attack her, but I can't attack an old lady. Come on. You know, so I'm just like, wow. It's, if you watch the end of my seminar, it's a metaphor for everything wrong. Everything wrong. And there's like, well, it's a man-made creek. Yes, yeah, so what? What ain't a man-made creek? You know, so we've altered the water systems, whatever, so it's man-made, so here, right here, you're all almost, and everybody just argues, and then she told me about this Robinson character that runs for us every year and wants to dump all this nuclear waste in the Pacific. I says, you know about Fukushima? He got his wish. Northwest Christian University. So I, I stood right here on this corner and had this conversation with this professor here about usury. It's about, I think it's ironic that he picked Francis. That's the usury guy. So right here we talked about it. It's Christian, the hijacked, fake military masquerading Christians in hairspray. They're not Christians. They don't even. They're asymmetric to Christianity, and they grandstand it. Wow. Wow. But I want to show you something. Let's keep walking. We're going back to the creek. Just a little two block half. Northwest Christian Kansas. Do you understand usury? Do you understand tariffs? Here we go, we're getting back to the creek. Okay, so, oh, it's man-made, these guys just dump in. There's a little ecosystem that throws up, he told me, so, or she told me that, so, you know, these really vile critters, and I guess they had a ritual, she told me, about when people got married, something about the groom dumping into the milk creek. Well, one of the grooms they dumped in here recently, or a while back, and he cut himself on a piece of metal and got a real vile infection in his body and nearly passed away. So they had to quit that. Look at this filthy fucking thing. Wow. Wow. Look at this thing. Okay. And I'm going to end this right here. And I want you to watch the end of this. It'll blow your mind. This is the fucking problem with the fucking America. The environmental movement. The right, yeah, they'll fucking rape the earth into oblivion. They'd fucking... They would tap fucking old faithful if they get fucking there. They don't give a fuck because of generational arrogance. Nature is a whore. Isn't this the fucking... I mean, we're up here in the northwest. Cobain. In bloom. Oh, it's fucking in bloom. This is fucking Eugene, Oregon. Wow. Okay, watch the end of this. Nature is a fucking whore. And these pacifists, they sit up here, they talk, they talk. As they, it's the idea of painting the soup can, but they fuck. They're way too lazy to paint the fucking soup can. They've actually organized children that are going to clean up the debris fields when it lands here on the beautiful Oregon coast. For real. They're going to take school children out there. They, you know, as Radnet, with a wink and a nod, didn't work, Gina McCarthy. This fuck. I'm so disgusted. I don't think I've ever been so fucking disgusted with anything in my whole fucking life as seeing this this morning. My lecture last night as I went, and I tried to be as soft as I could because I could, I could feel the crowd how passive and soft. You say, boo, these fuckers start shaking in their fucking boots. i never seen such fucking... You know, we got aggressive fucking ignorant radicals on the right, and we got passive, soft fucking do-nothing fuckers on the left. Here's where I'm going to end this, and you fucking tell me. You fucking tell me. This is the manhole covers all over. I hope you can see that. Welcome to America. East Jordan Ironworks. Dump no waste. Drains to sewer. Everywhere. This is what they do. They build things like this, okay? Oh, yeah, we're environmentalists. We're socially conscious. Unless we'll pace this off. How many paces from this, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 
27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. 73 paces. My pace is exactly three feet. 219 yards away. 219 yards away from that manhole cover. This is what the environmental movement is here. From this, here's what we have. Wow, and you've seen it over there where I started this video. Wow. Kevin Blanche on the corner of passive nativity ignorance post ignorance not here no post ignorance here I haven't found it I've been to New York I've been to Honey Beach California been down to Songs been to San Diego been to Oregon now been to Utah have I found any post ignorance not yet still looking